Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. Check it, man. I got a good one today. I'm doing a survival challenge. I'm only going to eat what I catch. If I don't catch anything, I'm going to die, y'all. I here at the Texas City Dyke. Help! No, I got it. I got it. So check it out, man. So particularly the turkey species. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going for the a-holes of the sea, a.k.a. blue crabs. If I can catch some crabs, y'all, I'm going to do a catch, clean, and cook boil edition on the beach. I'm going to try to fish, too, just in case I don't catch any crabs because I'm, I'm really hungry. I got to eat something, y'all. Personally, I think I can do it. I want to take a peek. I want to take a peek. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let's go. Oh, my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair did your time How much longer will you suffer in this All right, y'all, so I'm doing great, man. It's currently 6.27. I'm already getting sweaty. Sweating like a stripper in church, but I'm doing good, man. So sun is coming up. Let's talk about my gear. Now, it's been about two years since I went crab fishing. Two years. I got embarrassed. There's a video on my channel. I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out below. I don't want to talk about it. But I came back bigger and better. So we have the crab pots right double ring heavy duty right we got the buoy to keep it up top I got 50 line 50 foot of line with a clip knot clip sling whatever you want to call it and we also got the bait bag I'm gonna put some chicken in there and um yeah I'm a I'm gonna turn chickens to crabs simple enough right come on let's go all right, so like I said, y'all, I haven't tried these before. I tried those really cheap, stringy ones, got jacked. So hopefully these would be better. I even bought those pods, the ones you have to, with the buoy, you gotta put your name on it. It's a, it's a hassle, nothing. But I'm feeling confident about this. I'm confident about this bait bag as well because, you know, they normally take my bait. Not this time, though. So I got four pods. Oh, salmonella. 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 Whatever. I don't know. I'm going to put about two thighs in each pod. There we go. So two thighs in each pod. Good to be back. These things are heavy as hell. <laughs> Super heavy. So like I said, we'll put two thighs in each one. And I think we should be good. Open up me a crab restaurant. <laughs> Call it fish and crabs. Here we go. Let's get the chicken. Oh yeah. Chicken is nice and bloody. Oh, oh. Okay. I just dropped two legs. Two thighs in the water. Actually, we dropped two thighs in the water. It's okay, though. We're just chumming. There we go. Yeah, I do plan on using some live shrimp to fish. One more. All right. So I got my bait basket linked to the actual cage let's open it up put two thighs in there all right how many thighs i got still got two thighs left i might as well throw it in there because i ain't about to use this chicken again close that net up so three thighs in that one put one more in this one all right 
I'm good, man. Let me rinse off my hands before I play my damn self. All right, y'all. We got our four pots set up. Let's start dropping. I don't know what I'm doing, but how many I need? I need a minimum four crabs for me to do a catch clean and cook. Come y'all, first time I'm using this, so it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. A lot of trial and error. There we go. Drop it up a couple times. On the boat. There's a lot of rocks over here. We'll drop another one here. That's about three feet, give or take. Oh man. I'm gonna put one adjacent over here on the rocky side. There's no rocks, I don't want to lose my pod. Yeah, she's down. It's not deep over there at all. All right, one more pod. I kind of want to take it over there, but I want to keep in a general area. Yeah, we wanna take one on the other side. I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna be stationed over here, but I just wanna put a test pot over here at the end. Matter of fact, the one I put over there on the right-hand side, I should probably, bro, these boards look sketch. Oh my God. I'm walking on these with way too much confidence. Okay, super sketch. Super sketch. All right, so we wanna put one over here. I think I'm gonna move the other one. I wanna put it over here on this other side in the middle. You know. Have some diversity with my drops. What the hell? Okay, there we go. How deep is that? One, two. It's not deep. Maybe like three feet, four feet. Go. All right. birds even have confidence in me okay so let's um head back to our station I don't know how often I should check them let me see 639 maybe like 30 minute increments or an hour I'm thinking 30 minutes I'll set my timer for 30 minutes because if I catch something I don't want to miss it then it's taken from there let me put my chicken back up. Like I say, I do have some live bait because I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do some fishing. So yeah, so we got one here, one there, one over there, one here by the rocks. Let's see what happens. In the meantime, I'm ready to do some fishing. Lego. Well, it's on. Looks like it might be a red. That's promising. 
That's promising. I'm thinking red. Or is it a big ugly? Uh, shark. Oh yeah, that's some kind of shark. No, thank you. I mean, I never, I never cooked the shark before. I'm not sure what the regulations are on sharks. Black tip, I'm not sure. Y'all want to see me do a catch clean and cook shark if I catch one? All right, y'all, so this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. It's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna check our crab pods and see if we got anything. I think I'm gonna starve today. Oh man, this is so much work. <laughs> has been put into what I'm about to try to do. All right, so look, got my crab measure right there. Crab tongs and crab gloves. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh man, this is about to be funny. All right, here we go. Can I get some? Ready? And pull up, pull up, pull up. Crap, 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 crap. I got a seashell. One seashell. It's not good. Not good. Let's try this one over here. One seashell, it's not good. All right, part number two. Ready? Oh, that wasn't even deep. Not a, not a damn thing. Okay, strike two, strike two, here we go, number three, number three, got a good feeling about this one, got a good feeling about this one. What the hell, bunch of hermit crabs, I can't eat you. Can't eat you, bub. It's just a bunch of hermit crab show. Uh, then we're gonna have to relocate. Let's put it back though. We got one more over there. All right, so, so far, so far not so good. I only caught some damn hermit crabs. I don't know. There's a couple of um, piers that way. I'm gonna have to relocate. I'll give this spot maybe another additional 30 minutes before I, I try a different area. I don't know. If I can say, I don't know. We'll try um, this one over here. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is the one. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. It looks like it's a keeper too. And it looks like it's a keeper too. Nice solid one, baby. All right, y'all. Problem, I left my bucket over there. And I'm not too familiar on how to grab these properly. You're supposed to grab it by the back hinge, right? Let me see if I can do this. Okay, right now, man up, man up. Man up, nope, nope. 
man up. He's peeing. He's peeing. Let me see if I can just grab him by that swimmer thing they talk about. I gotta take it back to the bucket. Whoa, no. Turn around. Oh, it is really trying to get me. Okay, right now. Oh. Alright, y'all. Give me a second to get acclimated to what the hell I'm doing. Alright, I don't want to lose it. So what we're going to do is just go get my bucket. And that's how you do it, baby. That is how you do it. Yo. Let's go the back in. Alright, y'all. So we have our one keeper first blue crab keeper excited about that put her for him an ice bucket there you go see that yeah yeah <laughs> there she goes All right, I need about three more of those to make a proper catch killing cook. I know y'all think I'm greedy, but that's a lot of work to set up the stove, kitchen. Give me three more keepers. What I'm gonna do is, the one I have over here, I wanna move another one over there in that area because three strikes, one keeper. I put it over there. All right, come on, let's keep moving. Got company. Our company. So we'll see. That for the press? Yes, sir. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, so something super important. One second. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh. All right, y'all. So I've been out here for about setting up. I think an hour and forty-five minutes. Coming up on two hours. Super important, man. I forgot to hydrate. Kind of out of sight, out of mind. So busy trying to get everything set up. Water. Now I will say, my last two trips I went out. When I went to, um, I think it was Jesse Jones Park, fishing the bayou. Only had like 20 ounces of water. Ran out with an hour left in the trip to go. From there I went to Moses Lake. When I went to Moses Lake, I had like this canister right here, 64 ounces of water. I was out there traveling for like six hours, six miles, six to eight miles, run out of water the last mile. So I got pretty much two of these, one here and one in the truck. I'm not running out of water this time. Because as you know, the summer heat around Texas do not play. Easily 90 to 100, feels like 200 degrees. So, um, I have a little bell that I can put on that, so I have to keep watching it. So, let me get that once again. Y'all gonna be out here fishing, hydrate, drink every 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And also, however much water you think you need to bring, bring twice as much. Good cast. My man's on right there. Already on. Already on. What do you got? I got all this gear. He showed up in some Crocs, a t shirt, and some shorts. Landed something. Experience, man. These old timers, bro, they got experience for a reason. Got him. He's just smoking a cigarette, taking his time with it. So, OG right there, y'all. Gotta respect the game. Gotta respect the game. What is it? What is it? Come on, G. I think they say a black sheep. Trout! Nice. Alright, so nothing but hermit crabs on um, those particular ones. I need to move them. 
because that's not working. Thank God he just showed up. Caught him a keeper trout. Like in five minutes. I bet he lives in this area, so he probably knows this area like the back of his hand. I'm gonna watch him though. Cause you know my, my motto, my theory, my strategy. You see somebody catching fish, you literally go shoulder to shoulder with them, cast right on top of them, tangling under the line. Call it pot licking, I call it being smart. All right. Looking for a good spot, y'all. That over there looks good. Be scared. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. No, no. Yeah, I kind of thought that was gonna happen. <sighs> Ton of rocks. Nah, I don't want to risk it. Too many rocks. <clears throat> I can't pull it up, man. <sighs> Here we go. Bring my pole out here. Yeah, let's bring my pole out here. Just want to back my truck out here. All right, y'all. So, slight relocation. Packed my stuff on the truck. Gonna back up. Attempt to back up. Go to our fish off the rocks. Let's see how this goes. What's the worst thing to happen? <clears throat> I can die, that's the worst thing that happened. I know that one little nibble didn't do it. I know that one little bite. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Oh. Oh, it's still on it. Oh, shoot. Croker, croker, I need some cut bait. I need some cut bait. Uh. Yes. Oh, speckled trout. <laughs> what not speckle you, little buddy. There we go. All right. This gives us hope that there's fish out there. I hooked it different, so maybe that's a strategy. No hooking on the horn, just hooking in the body so I can get a better hook set. Yeah, we'll see. All right. I need a keeper. This is for survival, let's go. All right, so my timer just went off. Time to check the crab pods. These over here by the sand. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be any difference. <laughs> just don't get stuck in the rocks, baby. You ready? Somebody popping over there. Come on, come on, get up, get up. Oh, got one. Got a baby. Got a baby. All right, it's not a keeper. What's he gets his hope? Ouch. It's a little one trying to get you, boy. She gets his hope. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. You got it? No, nah, no, nah, I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you, but you got it. <laughs> Spread it back. Delicious, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta figure out and get an idea what this is. Let me take a photo, post it on Facebook, and see what the limit is on these things. 
All right, y'all, so I'm currently trying to get a crab ID on oh, that crab I just caught. The way I get my crab ID is send a text message to my friends, post it on Facebook. Those legs look familiar. I can't remember what they call though. Mud crab, Dunsin' and crab, ain't no Dunsin' in no damn Texas City. So as soon as I get an ID on it, figure out the legal size, probably jump on Google, see if I can eat it, hope I can eat it. If so, that's two down, two more to go for my crab ball. Yo. All right, y'all, so we got a crab ID. Apparently it's a stone crab. And you can keep the right claw if it's two and a half inches from the tip of the claw to the first joint. If it's two and a half inches, I gotta figure out how to take off the claw. Let's measure it real quick and see what happens. Oh God. All right. Right claw, two and a half inches, first joint. That's gonna be a measurement three. Right claw from tip, two and a half inches. Oh, oh, y'all look at that. From tip of claw, it's like first joint. It's almost three and a half, four inches. All right, so check it out. From the tip of claw to the first joint has to be two and a half inches. <laughs> Midway to his claw is two and a half, so it's about three inches. So now, how the hell do you take off the joint? All right, now I'm subscribed to Darth Zizzle Outdoors. I've seen her do this before. And apparently like, just kind of twist it. Now I'm getting my pliers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I believe you just twist it and it's gonna pop, pop right off allegedly. Once again, two and a half inches. Yep, this bad boy is about three and a half inches. So if I grab it, I think I just twist and the joint comes out. Actually. I think if you get a knife and put it in the hinge, it comes off. Or do I just grab it? No, I think I'm gonna grab it. Hold on. I'm just gonna take your right claw. Okay. Release. Release! I'm sorry, buddy. I'm hungry. Oh, come on. At the joint. At the joint. Okay, right there at the joint, y'all. Twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Come off, pop off. Oh, it's coming off, it's coming off. We did it. Oh my God, we did it. All right, let's get it back in. All right, Lefty, you've been a real one. Come on, thanks for participating. I promise you, your claw's not going to go in vain. Yeah. Super proud of myself. We did it, y'all. Nice joint. Tip measures, first joint, it's like three and a half, almost four inches. Put her in a tank with my blue. Yes. All right, so we still, we still don't have enough. I need about either four of those crab legs. Keep her fish. Cloud curve is coming up. Let me get some rest, cool off. I'm gonna get back at it, yeah. All right, another cool off session. Oh my God, it's been an hour. Got a couple of good croaker for cut bait, or live bait actually. I'm soaking one now that I'm watching. Um, my crab pods have been soaking for an hour. It's now 11.05. 
been out for four hours, staying hydrated. Praying that that big cloud over there comes and meets the sun so I can check my crab pods. It's been an hour. It's been an hour. I guess I need at least four crabs, I feel, to be able to do a proper catch and cook boil. So, next time you see me, if I'm not dead, I'll be checking my crab pods. You. Yeah. What if I catch a redfish with my crab pot? Is it legal to keep it? Anyway, anyway, let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, oh yes. We got, we got some good ones, y'all. We got one keeper and another stone crab. I'm pretty sure the stone crab is not a keeper though. I keep it getting in my bucket. That one is all muddy and juicy looking. Okay, hold on, wait. There we go. That, look at that keeper. About eight inches, y'all. No eggs, male, brown, nice. Oh no, gonna get out. It wasn't a keeper, I don't think. Where'd he go? Oh, the rock crab got out. Did it? Oh wait, there she go, I see it. I see the rock crab. How the hell you get out? I'm trying to catch me slipping, buddy. Let me know. Look just like a rock. Come here. Oh, there's just a wish in there. Okay, y'all. My rock crab is there. I don't know if it's a keeper though. But we're gonna find out. Bro, it got yourself wedged. <clears throat> Come here. Oh, you bastard. I'm about to grab you. Grab you by your swimmers. It has itself wedged in. Like a damn rock. Uh, the irony. Another rock crab. That's how I use pliers. This is the technique in which I saw on YouTube. If you get into the joint with a knife, it will just come off. Let's see if it's easier. That. Watch it, buddy. Twist it like that. There we go. Another one. It's two. Yeah, nice, buddy. Whoa! Where the hell did that come from? Oh my god. Huge weight. Where did I even come from, y'all? Got rats running. <sighs> Great.
so hot. So freaking hot. So, what time is it? Oh, oh, my gear is acting up. There we go. So hot, so freaking hot. 12 o'clock. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to cool my body down. I already went through 64 ounces of water. Going through my second jug canister. Um, I got two blue crabs, two stone crab claws. I don't know if I can do it. I might do this catch and cook at the house. I'm looking for a pond. I wanted that one taken. See that. That one taken. Damn families, go do something. It's a porta potty one. I don't want to be doing no catch and cook by no porta potty. Oh, the pods are taken. Super annoying. Hold on, I think it's one right here. I think it's one right here. This one looks promising. Let's go check it out. Get a closer look. Oh, my throat hurts. Everything hurts. Out of shade. Oh. Oh. oh my god. So hot. I think I can work with this y'all. Catch and cook right here. Crab mm. bowl. Alright. Let me um reverse my truck take a nap and I'll be back it's been about 15 minutes and I'm still trying to cool off I'm really trying to convince myself to finish this damn vlog get out there but the fact that I need to get out of this truck set up a kitchen to turn on a fire to cook and this 100 degree weather makes no sense to me. I can just go home and do it. But it's not the same, man. This is a survival challenge. I'm trying to survive. Y'all yeah, know if I die, I technically didn't didn't surpass pass the survival challenge or beat the survival challenge. So hot, man. I don't, I don't see how y'all do it. Oh, yeah. I'm not built for this, man. Heat is my kryptonite. Heat is my kryptonite, man. We all got our, our weak points. Heat is it for me. That takes all the energy out of me, all the creativity out of me. I just want, like, just give me 70 degree weather, man. I don't remember it being this hot last summer. Maybe I wasn't outside, and I just don't recall. But, um,. Yeah, y'all. I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm gonna be one through one of these. I went through that. I'm halfway through this. Okay. Now, technically, I said my goal was to get four crabs to do this catch and cook boil. I got two blue crabs, two stone crab claws, right claws three inches long three and a half inches long I didn't take them damn crab legs from them crabs for nothing not that I'm gonna throw them away I can just do this at home in my kitchen but nah man I gotta do it for y'all I gotta do it out here I gotta die out here pretty much just give me a cloud man I don't understand how I've got all these clouds around, but none of them are directly over the sun. It's 12 o'clock. Tell myself I'll be done with this challenge and be back home by 11 a.m. But here I am. Oh my God. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. 
All right, y'all. All right, all right. Get out this truck. I'm gonna set my kitchen up. And I'm gonna do this catch and cook. Crab boil. Come on, let's go. I don't wanna do it. So close right now. How long is it gonna take me to cook this? I gotta boil crabs for like 15 minutes. I got corn, potatoes. So also 15 minutes. All right, all right, all right. I got this, I got this. This is how legends are made. I ain't your average YouTuber, y'all. I'm bringing y'all the original dope content. If I die. One, two, three, go. No, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. I got this, go, let's go. All right. All right, y'all. If you're still watching, you're a real one. Cause I know I was ready to quit about 10 times throughout this video. So what we're gonna do now is get our kitchen set up for the cook portion of the episode. I have a little table, but what's the point of bringing it out if um I have this instead? There we go. Fancy, fancy right now. Okay. All right, this is gonna be a challenge. <laughs> Nice and windy. That's the way I like it. Alright. Alright, we're making progress as you can see. We need water. I have not used the stove in a while. You're gonna have to bear with me as I try to remember how to use it. That wind is winding. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, push button start. Some gas. Gas. Oh, come on. What the f was that? There we go. Oh, I just can't see it. It's already lit. It's definitely lit. Oh yeah, it's lit. I couldn't even see it. Put that in there. I don't know how long it's gonna take the ball. All right, we're cooking, baby. I see that. the wind all right so that's good all right y'all so I'm boiling my water it might take a while because it's so windy out here I don't know it's hard enough to boil water in those type of pans at home so hopefully it's gonna work we need to be able to boil that water I think in 10 to 15 minutes I'm cooking corn potatoes Blue crab and stone crab cloth with butter. Theoretically, this will work. I'm gonna use a little Louisiana, Louisiana fish products, crawfish shrimp bowl. This is my favorite one to use, especially when I love um, snow crabs. Bam, all day, every day. So we're gonna do a simple little slit. Now the recipe, no. Here we go. We don't got a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, pot's not that big. Okay. So this is this is smidgen. This is smidgen. Like I say, the star of the show. 
This one right here looks mean. Look at that one. It's all brown. I don't know if it's good to eat, but we're gonna find out. I don't care. Woo! We got boiling water, y'all. It only took half an hour. Only took half an hour, but we cooking. We cooking, baby. We cooking, baby. Here's my other one. Yeah. Nice and good. There we go. All right. And I'm really looking forward to these, man. Everybody telling me that stone crab legs are good. You can take one, two and a half inches. Call two. It's from my first one, from my second one. Put that in there. Drop that in. There we go. I want to take a peek. I want to take a peek. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 Y'all, look at my butter. I don't even got the stove on. It's just out here in the heat. Melting naturally. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. First, let's get our crab. Mmm, delicioso. Look at the big one. Look at the big one. I don't know about the big one. The big one is kind of brownish, digging in the mud. Whatever, you get an eight, bro. We'll test you out. We'll test you out indeed. Bowl. Let's get some of these corn. Corn. So my potatoes at. Oh man, I can't. Almost forgot the star of the show. Stone crab. Oh yes. Oh my god, yes. Okay, potatoes. Right there. A couple of potatoes. Oh, I forgot all about the stone crab. It's like one more in there somewhere. There she goes. There she go. There you go. Okay. Mm. She might try to eat a pretty one. has arrived. All right, y'all. Oh, man. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I'm excited to taste this food. Especially these stone crabs. Now, this one over here looks suspect. He was real brown looking. See that? In comparison to this one, right? See the difference? I don't know if I should eat this. We'll see what happens with this experiment. Alright, so first I want to try the stone crab because I never had stone crab before. Got my crab cutters here. Can't believe I'm eating something I caught it's fresh out the ocean myself. Stone crabs are like tough. So, uh, welcome to the mukbang section of the vlog. Okay, I need something to put my trash in. There you go. All right, y'all, don't mind me. Do not mind me. Excited. Never tried stone crab before, but I'm about to try now. So how did y'all enjoy the vlog? It was a long one, right? Definitely a long one. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So that right there. Look at that. It's got a white 
right, watch the outside right though. Let's try it, let's try it. First taste, I'm mean, no butter, no butter, first taste. Yes. Oh man, that's good. Oh man, that's so good. No butter. Mm. Mm. Yo, stone crab is dead. First time I ever had it. Yo, that's delicious, bro. That is delicious. Mm. Anything in here? I need like 20 of these. Twenty at least. So yeah, y'all. Um all my gear pretty much bought at Academy and whatnot. I got a feeling like even if I would have did it at night towards the evening, even better results. Yo, this is so good. Yo, this is so good. It was worth it. It was worth it. The stone crab alone made it worth it. I ain't need no obey. It's butter. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. Focus, focus, there we go. Mmm. That's so good. The stone crab is fire. The stone crab is absolute fire. I ain't even lying. Hold on. Hold on. Oh man, I'm just gonna Oh man. Hold on, get some of this potato. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Mmm. So yeah, this is turning into a mud bang. Yo, so how did y'all enjoy the vlog? It was crazy, right? The boy is wild. Like I said, man, I'm gonna be posting a lot more. And um, mm, that's good. That's good. So yeah, get ready. Hold on, y'all see that? Get that butter. Butter. Get that butter just marinated like that. Yo. Alright, let's get some butter. That old bay. Like that. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Ah. Mm. So yeah, my objective to come out here today was to test out a lot of gear that I got and see if it worked. There were some hiccups here and there, but I kind of learned. And I think I can get locked in on what to really do soon. You know? I think I'm... Um, got it. I'll have even more success like at the pier. I can gallop them. So I'm going to start out. Mmm. Back of that claw. So much meat. Oh, yes, yes. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna try some pure crabbing. Some places in Bolivar. Got the old school, like, handheld crab net thing. So you just kind of tie a piece of chicken and throw it out and pull it in with a, and catch it with a net. Mmm. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna hit some freshwater locations, do camping. It's like Lake Conroe, Lake Houston. I don't know if they have camping spots up there, but if so, definitely wanna try that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Alright. I know y'all wanna see me smacking and eating. Ooh, ooh. So let me try this food crab. Let's start go. Stone crab. Oh, mm. 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 God. I don't see how something so ugly could be so good. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, let me try this blue crab. I ain't had blue crab in a minute. Ooh. See that? 
See that? It's coming there. Let's see what blue crab tastes like. I ain't had it in a minute. Mmm. Blue crab has like a natural seasoning to it. That's really good. Mmm. 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 Potato. Mmm. Alright, hold on. Let me try the leg. So yeah, um, more content, y'all. Like I said, I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. I like to try new different things that y'all really ain't seen on YouTube in our area. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to stand out, be different. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. I'm third. I'm third. All right, I gotta finish this in this if you made it to the end of this video you're a real one i don't know how long this video is going to be yeah. i almost died of a heat stroke three times so i'm posting every single minute of everything that happened throughout the course of this trip and this survival challenge so if you like the video thumbs up if you like me you want to see more content like i'm doing subscribe and comment to your boy guess what i'll respond to you know comments i'm not no bougie youtube I, i'm lying i'm bougie i'm super bougie yeah, I'm super bougie. I'm up here eating stone crab legs on a pretty picnic thing, whatever. Anyway, man, so um, thanks for coming through, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Comment below what y'all want to see next. If it's a good idea, I might rock with it. Peace.